All right, today I have a wild set list. Early in 2009, I was uh, trying to troubleshoot my computer. I had to use that device manager and download some resources. So I go to the library, and in the section over there in Grand Rapids Library, in the bottom stairs back the left, there's a section for pilgrimage which turns out to be this really uh, outstanding find. I discover the secret language of stone. Don Robbins wrote this book about the residents of, uh, the, of uh, what we kind of imbue into a uh, medium, depending on what it is and the influences it has and all this of this nature and everything else. Well, in this book, uh, they introduce the werewolf of Allendale. I was really was like, oh man, what a kick. The Hexam Heads. These are two uh, electromagnetic stones that were at one time, although undocumented in like uh, Arthur's fights or in most Celtic things, uh, you, you would have found Merlin, uh, spinning around these stones, creating waves of energy. Like in one of those, uh, Frankenstein computer labs, blasting, catching the lightning and everything, bringing the strike to the <laughs> sewn-up guy. What there is on future, in the future, I discovered dynamos, which is a very, very practical and public domain concept. Although all the people pro uh, alternative energy now, you don't get to see the sod huts and the water wheels of 1913 that really have not been implemented at all. You see dams everywhere, you see fish ladders. You could easily power miles of land. I uh, am very frustrated that I don't have the... I'll just put it in the caption, that source. But uh, that's really relevant. Now in this time, early 09, we're gonna get into the reading. It's uh... I, I write this uh, poem Oh, all right, all right, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I, it's really hard to, I put so many bookmarks in. I have not ever been, here it is. The, Power and leaves, land will once again re return to the trees, J July 11, 2009. When I sample the feeling of love, does it really curdle in my blood? Is that a foul reek in my nose? When I think of our love, I feel a river running with the ways we understand. Do the ideas separate the paths to the turning of tides and start the water to curdle? Is the flow a ripe fermenting dew? of the revolving planet as the full moon and Vega leave the sky for a pa burning painful morning view the one ascending green light is soon hidden behind ke reflecting chemical clouds as they hesitantly resume cooking animal flesh and plant flesh in the morning and afternoon this is where I buried Carbon he is in my pet cemetery here he used to walk in this. I knew he was going. Did the water just start to heat and bubble? Are these rapids of white cold as ice? Will this day's deliveries kill me with their trouble? Before I can once again fade into the evening and night. Daily sunshine. Is this sunshine falling down the stairwell onto my face? While the oil of night is pure below us where the planets await. As the draw of the stairwell is refined 
before the tide turns and we lose our minds. We will we prevail and provide a moment of an answer. Hot, bright sun. Now, the iron heads, the history of iron. The soil is a brain. I want to say that. The iron is the tombs. I wrote the bill several months after that. The bill is based on the stone. It's based on the, like, uh, the first tombs are standing stones. Then you have pyramids and Egyptian things. You have all across the world, right? And churches are made of stone. They're like tombs. And there's a lot of direction to be heard. I... The pyramids are normally considered to have been built from around 2600 B.C., whereas uh, New Grange graves are usually dated around 3100 B.C. This is half a millennia earlier than the pyramids, and it has been claimed that one of the Caramore graves may even date from before 4000 B.C. This does not suggest the Irish showed Egyptians to build passage graves, and this is... Uh, this is uh, they don't say this here, but this is uh, the European landmass. This is them. This is it. Here is a gorgeous introduction to the... There's the uh, Book of Kells and uh, Harold or something. They really know how to illuminate. Better than St. Francis. Well, Francis is really cool. This is Harbison. Okay. Here. Hallstatt. The earliest stage of the development is known as Hallstatt. Uh, na named for small village in the Salkenglamorate of Austria. It was here it's salt with iron. It's this iron of the Hallstatt culture. Druids were Celts. The Druid caste was an integral... Oh, so when I try and submit that poem I just read before this, that I went out of my way to go and read, and I read it because I wrote it around the time I found the secret language of stone. I go on a website, I submit it on the internet, and I find a link for this book. The Julie Way in Tall Boys. Path Through the Forest. This book is an uh, incredible resource. These people, they, all right, all right. The Druid caste was an integral part of the Celtic society, providing essential functions within society and acting as a cohesive force that bound the different tribes together. We cannot understand, and we cannot do that without first considering the context in which they existed and operated. The history of the Celts is perhaps the most extraordinary of all the peoples who have inhabited the European landmass and its islands. Their language, culture, and traditions have survived for several millennia despite the major impact of the Romans, Goths, Huns, Vandals, Saxons, Normans, and other cultural and religious influences. Uh... The likeliest explanation is the survival is the fact that Celts are neither a race nor a nation. They are unified by non-material aspects of being, intangible such as language and thought, belief and skills, bo all born out of the metaphysical stance that imbued both society and person. National borders came and went, invaders came and went with them, and then the Celtic peoples have outlived them all, for it is important to remember Celts still exist in their millions despite the many modern and insidious attempts to destroy living culture. An example explanation of the power of vision of the indelible mark it has made in the world is harder to find. One suspects lies in the fact that Celtic peoples were intuitively emotionally in tune with their world. Wherever they went, they took their essential vision with them and found it reflected in what was already there. However, it goes further for the way in which they saw the world and the ways in which they expressed that vision touches directly without the need to intellectualize. They have the ability to see and live through everyday world as poets of the divine. Although ancestral cults 
recognize the distinction between poetry and farming, the exquisite metalwork they produce in house building, art, religion, politics, all rest, know that these were distinctions and nothing more, symptoms of the inadequacy of human communication. They also knew that farming is a spiritual and political endeavor and that devotion to gods is entirely practical, yet knowing that they did not intact intellectualize it as we do for them it was how you do things and how you look at the world and that was enough important grasp we view the world in a different way from our ancestors although we're in the stone buildings we're connected in i'm trying to relate this history i'm doing a history lesson social system except certain and concepts of axiomatic some of which were formulated by only last century, which seems strange to our grandparents when they were first voiced, other nations have come into being over a much longer period and rarely mentioned within the mainstream, is one of the tests of uh, everyone to rediscover ancestors' way of thinking and viewing the world. And this is something that I can't stress enough. I hear so many things that people ought to be ashamed of. There is uh, this patriot, uh, me, loving it, Loving everything we have the opportunity to see here. And then I hear these things from people. I hear this. This is, I'm referring to this call, you call this pros, progress, Seth Sochstack. I am using this as an example because it is a standard of a uh, uh, United States curriculum for everyone to have to uh, critique this uh, particular column where he discusses email policy and what it means to talk to your neighbors and then the kinds of ways that he demeans his neighbors and is uh he, he summarizes this is and if i was to summarize what he was saying it would read the entire point he made would read into this uh mumbling light speed obligation cuddly and base demanding deadline faulty and anonymous magical plastic constant dripping face tentacle cubicle ingredients recruiting cotton slates Furthermore, his statements about not missing someone and the self-evident answers, he, he never, he just ridicules people. He never mentions about what it is about the current program that aggravates him. He just stereotypes coworkers, families, students, doctors, contractors, travel agents, professors, friends, and governmental representatives that he has the responsibility to communicate with and he lives next door to. But like I said, man... The fact is that this isolated pattern of I'm gonna get, I'm gonna mention that again when I play the bill. The bill is the tomb. The tomb is the song I wrote after I learned about the secret language of stone and I read some Celtic stuff and realized how old tombs are. This is something. Okay. I would like to say, you know. You're going to have to just read it for yourself, Showstack's, uh, you call this progress thing. But I have, you know, I'm like, I'm like, America, we are here. And when I hear people, it, like, I, I would love to just read this out loud. And I'll just have to reflect on this in another reading. Instead, I'm going to focus on what's at hand. And that either is the showing the bill now or showing the Easter Island okay you know basically in the end that summarizes to the essay is he has all this to say about these people that are providing him with this uh, life and he's just an astrologer that has a terrible way of communicating with people that have provided him with the way that he can live and he is not showing himself to be very thankful. And he says that entire society is going to fail because we can email each other. Well, it's it's not patriotic at all. It's, it's very, very disappointing that people actually go through that. And then they take macroeconomics and everything. And they don't ever talk about how great America is. It's really, really ridiculous. Easter Island Olympic Games. This is November 2007. Not exactly related, but there is only living. Ah, the tasteful breath of a beautiful day. The eternal grace of unfettered grass. Cognitive tunes. Recruiting for the evening's haze. Which is the light condition. Conditions of light. The perpet perpetual location. Perpetual location. 
vocation. Contrast the living the same life in a different... Okay, the end of that got cut off. That's freaking crap, man. So basically, uh, that's rough. It's not in there. I was stating how people live the same life in different locations. When you're on vacation, you 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 know you take for granted your location. And then this leads to destination, May 10, 2008, another year. I stood. This is earlier than that, isn't it? Yeah, I stood clenching the flag, swaying beneath my folded hands on the creaking deck, the moment completely still, and they pass by a uh, oh, hundred miles per hour. They move instantly. We float in a sea of light, a sea of concrete, lethal fast concrete, and we have moored our ship. That is destination, and that is standing on deck of a house in the middle of city if everyone's shooting back. Okay, here's the bill. This is the tune. The bill gets harder as time goes on. Laying bricks and mortar till the setting sun. Well, they'll speculate whose will be done. We build a and uh, basically uh, play a lot better on the track on the CD I have uh, references to uh, keeping and uh, you know someone that hasn't done anything wrong is the one dying for everyone else's wrongs and then you're eating his b bread of his flesh and drinking his blood and no one thinks that's weird. I'm not saying I'm not into the uh, standards and the community outreach of uh, Christians. I think that I am faithful and I love. I follow the Ten Commandments. I understand why people want to help other people, but empower yourselves as a community. I have grown up doing service projects with the church. And I see how life for everyone could be awesome. I see how the churches could have their communities all move in closer together and build each other's houses. And I see how when they everyone spends uh, 600 bucks each and goes to somewhere like Tennessee or West Virginia to build other people's homes because, like, uh, you know, they didn't have many young, able bodies after they died in the war. Uh, and there's, like, depression and... Uh, a lot of different circumstances, you know, about, and want to use as a message for the youth, but you get these kids out there, and they're repenting for sins they haven't committed, and they're not suffering at all, they're growing, and uh, some of the most treasured moments, you know, I ever have had is being out there with those great people, and having so much fun, really having so much fun. Okay, the very ending of this, I don't want to miss my last... Uh, am I done? I don't get it. I think I'm done with my entry. I did the all. Oh. That's crazy. It took a while. I tried to do it in 8 minutes and it took me 10 minutes longer and I am uh uh feeling like there's a lot more to be said but uh you could I could always follow up this with a more um summarized outline if there's ever any questions which I don't ever ex I wonder it probably won't be months before that ever happens so uh, this is the, uh, uh, March 12, I think, and I am going to see you later.